great minds it is time to learn once more and it's always a pleasure to have you in my class today you will be learning about a very interesting topic it is simple machines simple machines are machines that help us to do work easier and faster they are simple machines because they are easy to use simple machines are into six different types we have the lever which is the simplest form of simple machine we have the inclined plane a wedge pulley wheel and also and the screw these are the classes of simple machine let's look at the first group which is the lever the lever like i said earlier on is the simplest form of simple machine the lever is a simple machine that helps us to do work easily without too much effort and a lever can be grouped into three parts a lever is divided into three parts and these parts are we have the load arm the fulcrum also known as the pivot and we also have the effort arm so this is how a lever looks like you can see this is how it looks like we have the effort we have the load and the fulcrum which is the moving point classes of lever levers are divided into three main classes so let's look at the classes first we have the first class lever we have the second class lever and we have the third class lever let's look at the first class lever this is a type of lever in which the fulcrum is found at the middle why the effort and the load are the opposite directions so a first class lever an example is scissors as you can see a plier is also a first class lever with the fulcrum at the middle the second class lever is a type of lever in which the load is at the middle a wheelbarrow is a good example as you can see a nutcracker is also an example of second class lever a stapler is an example of second class lever then we have the third class lever this is a type of lever in which the effort is at the middle a hockey stick is a very good example a rake also is a very good example hammer is also a third class lever as you can see in the description in order for you to remember easily the types of lever we use this acronym flea F L E flea what does it stand for so let's see flea we have fulcrum load and effort let's see how we can use this symbol to remember our classes of lever in first class lever F is at the middle so we have F1 because first class 1 we have F is at the middle and the other part load and effort they are the they are the other end then in second class lever the load is at the middle while in third class lever the effort is at the middle so you can use this to remember the classes of lever another type of simple machine we'll be looking at today is the pulley this is a pulley a pulley is a wheel that rotates around a stationary axle so you can see the axle is stationary while the wheel moves axle is a rod that passes through the center of the wheel as you can see the outer rim of the pulley is grooved to accommodate a rope or a chain so as you can see a pulley is used to lift an object it is used to lift an object so this is a simple machine and this simple machine can be used to lift 
heavy object. Observe. The system of pulley makes it easier to lift the object. The person can pull down the rope more easily and lift the object. A flagpole uses a pulley system. A flagpole is attached to one end of the rope and the other end of the rope is pulled. And see the flag moving up the rope. You can also use a pulley to lift a bucket of water or any object that you want to lift up. As you can see, this is a pulley. This is a multiple pulley because you can have two or more pulley attached to each other. So as you can see, we have about three pulley in this type of pulley. Then the wheel and asso is another type of simple machine. An asso is a rod that goes through the wheel as we've seen before. So you can see the wheel rotating on the asso. The wheel and the asso are used for making movable things. So for example, you see a wheel in a car or in a cart. The faster the wheel is turned, the faster the wheel spins. So this is seen here. A bicycle uses an asso and also a wheel. So as we pedal the bicycle, the wheel start to rotate on the asso. So these are different things that uses the wheel and the asso. A vehicle, a skating board, and a cart uses it. Even the roller skates as a wheel. Uh, you see the asso moving. They are machines because they help to move faster. So the skating shoes, they are machines because they help us to move faster. You can see a cart. The wagon has four wheels and two assos. See a bicycle, the wheel and asso. You see the asso goes through the wheel. Then tighten it and is rotating. Wheels and assos are simple machines, like we said earlier on. And you see, as you can see, the bicycles move. So, if you want to construct a simple wheel and asso, you can cut out a circle with different diameters. Then, using a toothpick or a broomstick as an asso, you see, you have your wheel and asso. You can see it turns. So you can see you've constructed a wheel and an asso just using a paper and a broomstick. The wheel and asso can also be used in complex machine for sharpening objects, in poetry for molding. And in windmill machines, and even in dams, have you tried to open a door without a doorknob? It could be very difficult because without the doorknob, there will be no wheel and asso. The doorknob is a wheel and asso that help us to open the door easily. So as you can see, the knob is the wheel and we have the asso that goes through the door. As you can see in some machines and even a car, the tires uses wheel and asso. Even the, the tires of three bicycles, they are all wheels and asso. Even the clock turns on with the mechanism of wheel and asso. These are different materials. Sewing machine uses a wheel and an asso. The fan uses a wheel and an asso. Even the wheelbarrow uses a wheel and an asso. The legs of the wheelbarrow. You can see the tires, they move on the wheel. I know you've learned so much and now you can differentiate between classes of lever, pulley and wheel and asso. 
Until we see you again next class, do have fun. Bye for now.